Hello everyone, this is Kevin, your Apptrepreneur, and we are coming up to Halloween where it's trick or treat time, and unfortunately for Uber drivers and daily pay users, we have a trick this morning. I tried to think of a better pun, but I, I couldn't. Um, so, I got this email that you can see up on the screen, and maybe you got one too, or it says, Hi Kevin, unfortunately daily pay is currently blocked from accessing your partner's account as a result of Uber's new safety and security initiatives. As you know, our mission at Daily Pay is to have you, our client, receive daily payments across all of your platforms. Sadly, for your convenience, we have decided to unlink Uber from your Daily Pay account, or actually, decided it's not part of it, sorry. You've just unlinked Uber from your Daily Pay account. Important, this will not affect your ability to receive Daily Pay for the other three driver platforms. DoorDash, Instacart, or Fasten. If you would like to link any of the other platforms, you can do so here. Also, we are expanding to traditional companies, not just on-demand platforms. If you have a job where you would like to receive daily payments, respond to this email and we'll be in touch. Lastly, please update your Uber Vault back to your personal bank account so you'll receive your future weekly payments directly from Uber. We will let you know, ASP, if there are any changes or developments. Thank you. Now then, um... That is obviously a huge, huge bummer because I, and I assume a lot of people, signed up for daily pay pretty much because of Uber. We wanted to get paid daily. And soon, daily pay was becoming very popular, so they extended to other services. And at one point, I was using them for Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, and Postmates. And it appears that at the time of this recording... I can only use daily pay for DoorDash. Now the question is, why is this the case? What on earth is going on? Why is daily pay unlinking all these services? And here's the reason. It's because these companies don't particularly like the fact that another service, or another company as they say, is being paid to get money daily without them being in the loop. They just don't like it. I mean, even though we as the drivers would like to get paid daily, and this was a great deal. It really was a great deal for a long time. I could get paid daily on three platforms. It only cost 99 cents a day, and that was a tax write-off at the end of the year, so that was good. Unfortunately, um, now all these companies just, they want to do their own daily pay thing. Now, admittingly, Lyft already had an express pay before... Um, I ended up um, before they were taken off, so that wasn't too surprising. But now Uber has a daily pay thing where for 50 cents per transaction, you can get paid instantly. Now, some people might say, wow, 50 cents, that's better than a dollar. That's a good deal, right? And the answer is no. No, it's not a good deal. Because here's the thing. Um, daily pay covered multiple services for a dollar a day. Uber is only for Uber, and it's per transaction, so... If you do, so every time um, you pay for Uber to get their express pay, you're also paying 50 cents for Lyft for their express pay. Um, Postmates doesn't have an express pay yet, but I'm certain that if they did, you'd pay 50 cents there too. So essentially, you could start paying a couple dollars a day to get paid instantly. And that's uh, a couple dollars a day is a big difference from a dollar a day. And... Not only that, because Daily Pay kept a 10% reserve, you would always get like a it would always be almost be like being getting a bonus on Thursday. So that's one reason. The other reason, and I wish I had a screenshot of this, but I don't, Uber has new security measures where randomly it will ask the login user to check a box to ensure that they are not a robot. And I think that was implemented specifically because of DoorDash, because DoorDash, well, it is run by robots for the most part. They don't have the manpower to have people go into accounts manually checking the I'm not a robot box. And when they don't do that, that's when Uber sends the driver an email saying you need to change your password for security reasons. So, uh, basically, Uber has more or less made daily pay useless. Now, I'm going to keep it because... It still works with DoorDash, but I'm uh, going to be kind of honest, folks. Um, daily Pay is in real trouble if uh, all these gig economy apps start working against them.
Now it says that they are pretty much expanding to n traditional companies, not just on-demand platforms. But I see an uphill battle there, and you know the fact that they don't have an easy form to fill out speaks volumes. So I'm sorry, folks. I wish I had better news uh, for the time being. Uh, I guess we could start making plans. Here's what might be the thing to do: if you're doing DoorDash, it's probably worth keeping daily play for DoorDash. But for the other companies, it's probably will, better just to wait for them to send you your weekly paycheck and just start planning ahead better. That's probably what I'm going to start doing um, because I don't, I can't do Instacart nor Fasten. It's not in my area, so you know. Anyway, what do you folks think? Does this disappoint you? I'd like to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.